behind his madness. Boom, shakalaka. The remaining Bodwar have surrendered. What is your current situation? Were you able to determine why he returned to the surface? It was a tactical error. Even if underspace was closed to him, Gaul would have had more opportunities to escape if he remained in his ship. Certainly. May I recommend Seven, Captain Kim, the Doctor, and Neelix join us as well. Their insight may be valuable. Fascinierend. While this conflict was regrettable, it was ultimately for the greater good. Gaul's hubris and ambition blinded him to the harm he was doing to the Delta Quadrant and his own people. Now the threat is ended. There will be time to heal. War is just a pointless waste of life. Usually for a political reason, it doesn't much matter in the long term anyway. I understand that sometimes we need to fight to defend those who cannot defend themselves. I respect that. But what Gaul was doing here was madness. So... Nein, verdammt! I was responsible for the return of the body. Even though Admiral Jamie told me she might have done the same thing, it was ultimately my actions that allowed all this destruction to happen. I participated in the assimilation of many different species during my time with the board. Acts way on me. The wanton slaughter, nevertheless, I am pleased I could, in some way, make up for my actions. By assisting the Tere, working with the Cooperative, and fighting the Vodwar here today, we have helped end what began more than 30 years ago when I activated those stasis tubes and freed the Vodwar. Thank you. Oder wo? Na, da ist er. Honestly, I wasn't sure about coming back to the Delta Quadrant. I have a family. Life back home, and the idea of being 70,000 light years away again wasn't appealing. But seeing the good we've done for the Gabali, and now stopping the Vodwar, I think we were needed here. You were needed. Thank you. It's been a pleasure serving you. Jetzt bin ich gespannt. Intriguing. This device is not familiar to me, but it does not appear to be a Bodwar origin.
congratulations. Your leadership during the assault on Vaudois Prime and the subsequent defeat of Gaul was inspired. With Gaul's defeat and the destruction of his fleet, we've secured the Delta Quadrant against a terrible threat. And I hope this is the last we see of the neural parasites and infected Vaudois. Perhaps even more importantly, we've united many species of the Delta Quadrant against a common enemy. This bodes well for future diplomatic negotiations and operations in the Delta Quadrant. They worked together once, they can do it again. So. I didn't know some more. Admiral Tuvok and Captain Kim are leading the analysis of the artifact you found on Vardwa Prime. I knew you'd want to be there for the great reveal, so I've arranged for you and your crew to be part of the team. Rendezvous with Voyager to get started. Electric Modul, Subraumspalte. Interessant. Bin ich mal gespannt drauf. Noch zwei Missionen, dann bin ich fertig. Gott sei Dank. So, ich gehe jetzt mal ganz kurz auf eure Klosett. Oh, bin gleich 56. Juhu! Wieder anwesend. Aber ich habe noch das zu Futter geholt, also nicht wundern. Ja, ich weiß eigentlich nicht gerade schön während eines Streams noch zu essen. Aber ich mache mal eine Ausnahme. Eigentlich macht das ja überhaupt nicht. Bin ich so dafür. Was war das denn? Der denn? USS Admiral. <lacht> oh nee, nee. Dominion. Dominion, Dominion, Dominion. Ah, sag mal auf, irgendwas. Was stimmt, eine Rasse heißt der Dominion. So. Ein bisschen was essen, während ich dahin fliege. Weiter geht's nicht, okay. Wir kommen beim Stream.
Welcome back to Voyager. We were about to begin studying the device you recovered from Gaul's communication center. Since you have spearheaded much of our efforts here, I would like you to take the lead once again. Captain Kim and Seven of Nine are at your disposal. Talk with them if you need more help deciphering the device. When you finish your analysis, return to me for further orders. I will be here in the transporter room to see you off. Hmm. Glad you're here. We transported the device to engineering here so we could run all the scans and tests we could think of. The first thing we need to do is determine how it's communicating. We can't find any normal transmissions from it, but we're hoping you have some new ideas to bring to the table. The device communicates with subspace. We should have guessed that. Now comes the hard part. We need to access the device's memory. The engineering team here on Voyager is good, and I've heard your team is top notch, but it might take more time than we have for either team to make a full analysis. We should have both teams give you their opinions on the device. If we work together, hopefully we can make a breakthrough. You'll need to set switches on the device until we get solid readings. We'll be able to tell if switches are in the correct position, but not which switches. Good luck. <laughs> 